Jujutsu Kaisen. The most overrated, overhyped, absolutely mediocre, heavily carol animation in this generation. And before you type your opinion, I do, we do not, not care. care. Because your mom agrees with me. Now, I really don't have a problem with this anime. It's cool. Not too bad, not too good. But you really got these stands out here thinking it's all when it's really not. You got a random that eats a finger that has a 1% chance of surviving and getting the strongest curse power in the show. Like, that's fire? That's fire, they all? Really? Like, come on now. In my opinion, the movie yes, clears the entire series. Hey, 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 hey. I know you already in the comment section typing. Your favorite anime is Agami Got Killed. Or El Opinion. Oh, no, 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 no. Here's my favorite one. Bro, just wait until season two comes out. Like, bro, that's gotta be the top five dumbest quote people have ever said to me. Like, I can understand a second season being better than the first one, or even the first episode being, like, not too good, you know? But a whole season. You want me to watch a whole season for it to get interesting? Yeah, my boy, you got that one. But although I may have my opinions about this show, not even God can deny that this show is full of fatherless activity. Like this man, Toto, bro. Now, Toto is just your average 6'3", 245 teenage gorilla. Nah, because what they've been feeding this man, bodybuilders? Bro, really out here built like an NFL linebacker. And I never would have imagined how they introduced this man to it. So you got Fushi Negro just chilling, minding his own business until he runs into Pistol Pete and Toto. But at first it seems cool, nothing to worry about, just having a casual conversation. To this man, Toto asked, what's your type? Huh? I would never imagine these three words will lead to the ass kicking of a lifetime. Now this gotta be anime's top one most heinous display, bro. Giving someone two options and they don't pick the one that you want, saying you gonna beat they ass? Nah, G, that's crazy. That's crazy. All my man says is as long as my shorty good and ain't gonna fold under pressure, she good, I'll dig her out for a lifetime. And this man Toto proceeds to whoop this man's ass up and down the school. Like this man created a whole new definition of bullying with this beatdown. Yeah, I ain't gonna cap. Bro got a first class seat in hell after that. Toto just like me for real. No, except the party. He's built like the Incredible Hulk on steroids. Bro just love the stallions with a lot of back. Cause don't let me get in the room with J-Lo. Might be posting a baby shower as my next video. But moving on, I gotta go back to Gojo. Because my first video of him did do him enough justice. Know your fucking place, trash. And if you saw the movie, you know this man has to be the descendant of a plantation owner after the whooping he put on, bro. Pretty sure my boy started going by the name Toby after that. We gotta go back to how this man was literally boxing the strongest demon in the show. First episode. I know he wasn't at full power, but bro legit said, can I have this dance and start spinning this grown man? Demon? Fossil? Damn, boy, what skincare routine you be using? Whatever it is, bro was still getting spent around like a blade blade. Yukana was definitely getting violated in the demon group chat after that one. Bro really got treated like a Disney princess in the final scene of the movie. But that's not nearly as bad as what this man did to Mike Wazowski. You cannot tell me that Gojo did not just say he was on another plane of existence to broke niggas. And just casually rips this man's head off. Now, nah, honorable mention got to go to Mojito. Bro really started playing soccer with this man's head, bro. Dude was out there looking like the old heads that never made it to the league. But nah, this man Gojo really caught a break in an incident charge and an assault charge after what he did to the brown skin Saitama. But before we talk about that, I got to get on this man. Cause what he got going on? Is that a mask or makeup? Whatever it is, it ain't working my boy. You look like you stuck in between wanting to be a superhero or a chef. Keep this up, Ghetto might call you a monkey. He really probably gonna do that anyway. But the utmost great menace gotta be this man Shikana. This man is just a ball of pure fatherless activity, bro. Now for real, he had to be the father that went and got milk. Cause you know, goddamn well, he don't care about no damn kid. Bro gotta be the first hey, yo, parasite the to take his host hostage. And he really be out here acting like a difficult toddler whenever Ida Tori needs help. But I can't forget the homie Rita. Dang. The shorty really a ride or die to death and then some. Nah, her ass was tweaking though, acting like a wacky inflatable yandere. But speaking of yandere, we can't forget about the females of this show because they really be wilding out. You got Nobora who became a tatted up street prophet. Maki who don't got sorcerer's ability at all but still be 
faded with the best of them and straight up catching bullets and her sister who pulls up with the scraps but i really want to know who went in a roast battle between sukano gutaro frieza and ghetto if you know me you know i'm rocking with the homie ghetto because i'm not rocking with y'all monkey